I did name her after the champagne Moet et Chandon. She's like a fine wine, bit sweet, bit sassy, very bubbly. Moet's also had quite a few visitors in the time that I've been here and they all absolutely fall in love with her straight away. It's got to the point where when people ring the doorbell, Moe sits expectantly thinking it's for her. She really is quite a character. She was there having been rescued where she caught cat flu and was left to die. But I fell in love with her straight away. I had only met her for five minutes and decided I had to take her home. I had her in one room, but after about three days she was desperate to get out. Moe's superpower is definitely seeing without eyes. It's amazing how well she navigates her surroundings. I had Luna in the rest of the apartment and they bonded really quickly. Although they're not super snuggly, they do enjoy playing together. We spend time together playing or with me brushing her. She loves to play with toys as well. And also play fight a little bit. Despite all the cat trees that I have in the house, Moe's favorite bed is the fruit bowl. One day she just ventured into it and lay down. It seemed to cocoon her really well. I just adored Moe from day one. She was so sweet, so loving. Our plan is to use her voice and donate to Omani Paws, which is our volunteer rescue group. And then we could open Oman's first ever cat shelter.